Hey, Grace. I know that it has been what feels like at least a hot minute since we've done one of these devotional series, but I'm really, really excited about this summer series that we've designed for you. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at, um, at some really important words in the Christian life and, and, and some important, not just words, but ideas and themes that really have been uh, what we feel has been stolen by culture. Um, and the idea of those things have been changed by culture to mean something completely different than what they've actually been intended to mean according to God's holy word and, and in some cases according to God's nature hence itself. And so what we're going to do is what we're starting out with this week as we begin to look at reclaiming and taking back some of those things is this idea of good and bad. Uh, I like to think of it in terms of pain and no pain, right? In today's society, we think no pain is good. And in fact, as a society in America, we're more medicated across all spectrums than we've ever been in history. That goes from physical pain to, to mental pain. And, and listen, there are times where uh, you have an injury and you need medication to help with that, or uh, there's uh, just something you can't get over and you need, and those things are good, but Man, as a society, we take so many drugs to numb ourselves to the world because we've bought into this lie that pain is not a good thing. And in reality, it is a good thing because pain, what it does is it warns us that something negative is happening. You know, if you're out working in the yard, maybe if you garden, I don't garden. So if you do and you have lots of fruits and vegetables left over, let me know because I don't do that. But, and you start to work and, and you get a blister on your hand and you, you feel that pain. That's your body saying, something's not right. You need to stop and address it. And in fact, that's why leprosy in the Old Testament and the Old Testament and New Testament was such a huge deal because that disease causes you to not be able to feel that pain. And then you would continue to work and continue to work. And what would have been a small blister then eventually opens into a massively huge wound, which can lead to serious, significant issues. Now we think about this pain, no pain, good, bad. How do we co-op that? What does that look like? Listen, here's the idea. We've been conditioned as a society to believe that when negative things happen to us, it's disastrous. It's the end of the world. Why is this happening? Why me? All of these questions that we ask. We have to break that mindset because what we have to understand is the truth of scripture, which says in Romans that God's going to work out all things for your good. And then I love it, not just for your good, but for his glory, that what's going to happen is that good thing or that seemingly negative thing in that situation, God's going to work it out for your good and for his glory. And so when we find ourselves in a position of negativity, bad things happen. Maybe it's just a season of pruning. You have a really close friend that moves on or a relationship changes. That doesn't mean negative. It just means it's another opportunity for God to conform you more into the image of his son, Jesus Christ. And why would we numb ourselves from that? Why would we not welcome that opportunity? Are they difficult? Are they hard? Absolutely. But it is a part of maturing in this life to be prepared ultimately for true life when we spend eternity with Jesus. And so church, if you find yourself this week in a bad situation, instead of asking the question, why me? Turn it around and ask this question, God, what do you have for me in this situation? And see how God takes this seemingly negative thing and turns it into something that is ultimately for your good and for his glory. Guys, I can't wait to get ready and get through the rest of this devotional series. It's going to be amazing. These are going to drop on Wednesday. This week, I just want you to just dive into this idea uh, of good and bad and, and even go back and look and write down maybe some situations that you thought were negative 
and with perspective and time, look back at how God's worked that thing out for your good. And you're going to be amazed at the good that comes out of what we would define as bad. Church, have a great week. I cannot wait to see you when I get back from sabbatical. Have a wonderful day. Love you guys. Have fun at worship this weekend. I'll talk to you later.